In Creole Parametric Cabling, you can add cosmetic features to your harness design, including tape, tie wrap, and markers. To do this, let's go to Applications, and then Cabling. And when you're adding these different cosmetic features, two things I recommend. First, turn on the display of your points in the In Graphics toolbar. And secondly, change from a thick cable display to a centerline cable display when you are creating the different cosmetic features. When you want to see them, switch over to the thick cable display. Here in the ribbon, we have the cosmetics group where we can create our marker, tape, and tie wrap. From the overflow, you can perform modifications to them. And I'll show you some of that later on. But first, I'm going to start off creating a tape feature. And tape requires you to create a spool. To create the new spool, we'll go to the spools command and then click create. And it's going to be of the type sheath. For the name of this spool, I'm just going to call it tape. And here we get the electrical parameters dialog box. You'll see that it has a bunch of columns in here automatically. So for example, we have the type that we specified, then the sheath type which we will change instead of using shrink this is going to be of the type tape and we have our wall thickness let's change that let's use something pretty thin I'll use 0.01 for the minimum bend radius now eh, we can use 0.05 like five times bigger than that here we have our set of units it's in inches and here we have a column for the pre shrink inner diameter that's something that we do not need for a tape spool and one column that we do want is the width and we don't have it in here so let's go to the view drop down menu and choose columns and I'm gonna select the pre shrink inner diameter and remove it and then select the width and add it and I like my different columns to be in a different order so I like the unit to be down on the bottom I like color to be higher right after the sheath type and here we have the wall thickness minimum bend radius so forth and so on let's click the OK button and with the color if the color matches up with a color in your palette then it'll use that color when it creates the feature so let's see for the width uh, let's also change this to a value of 0.25 and for the color I'm going to click OK for now and then go to my view menu and then go to my appearances and here I have all my different appearances and let's say that I want to use the black color for this well I can see that its name is BL so that's what I'm going to use let's edit the spools again select the tape and click OK and for the value oh let's bring that color back in here let's go to the view and then columns and oh yeah color is just all the way on the end let's get rid of that pre shrink in our diameter and bring the color back up for editing click the OK button and for the color let's use that value of BL and click the OK button so now we have our spool created let's place the tape on a few different locations so to create that let me go back to my cabling tab and here we have the tape and it asks us for a name for the tape feature and I'll call the first one T1 and it asks us for the spool we'll select the spool that we just created ask for a number of winds let's use three winds of the tape around the location and then pick a location to use as the center of the tape and so these are going to be the different locations that you use to define the routing of the cable you might be able to see that I have the label in here T1 let me zoom that in and that's because I have datum points displayed on here if you turn off your datum point display you're not going to see those labels for the different tape features and it's actually represented by just a, a very thin straight line in here and similarly if we want to create another tape feature let's click tape and for this one I will call it T2 and we will select the spool for the number of winds here it's giving me a default value of 2 let's use that 
and then for the location I'll pick this other location on the other side so there I have a couple of different tape features for the next one let's throw some tie wraps in here and for the tie wrap click on the command and you're going to get a nice ribbon for creating this and so for the placement we can select either a location or a segment to place it on so for example I'll select this location over here from the options tab you can change the width and the thickness and right now the width is a value of 0.05 we've got a thickness of 0.05 I'm going to leave those and here we have the name of the feature and maybe I want to call this one TW1 you'll see that later on and if I want to create other additional ones while I'm in the tool you can use this icon in the ribbon as opposed to just the OK so this will build the feature you can see that we have a little TW1 over there and it resets the dialog box and then I can say hey you know what I want to create one let's create actually I'm going to use that one later on just selecting a, another location hey let's pick in the middle of this segment over here gives us a distance value that you can change for the location again we have the options and the properties and let's call this one TW2 and those are the only ones I'm going to create we will click the check mark for OK and for the third and final kind of feature that we're going to make it'll be a marker and for the marker for the placement and you can see that you can if you hover over here you can select a segment so I'll place it right in the middle of this bundle over here gives us a distance value from the options tab here we have the expanded diameter and the reduced diameter maybe for the expanded diameter it makes sense for that to be bigger value than the reduced diameter and there we have the thickness for the length of it right now it's giving me a value of six and some change which is really really big let's change that to 0.5 you can see the preview of it on the screen just like with the previous feature the tie wrap that we created you can build the feature and then make another one in here so for example let's say that I then wanted to throw in an additional one a marker over on this segment and for the options in here it's giving us an error about the reduced diameter now uh, let's see let's change that to 0.025 and it likes that let's go to the value for the length that is a value of 0.5 that looks good let's hit the check mark and if I scroll down in my model tree you can see that here we have our tape feature our tape spool listed in here I'm going to expand the harness part if I expand and then scroll down over here you can see the different cosmetic features that we built in the model and let's switch over to a thick cable display and so there you can see the marker the marker is just on that one individual wire here we have the marker located in there and we have our tape and our tie wrap so you can see those various different features that we built in the model and again by turning on the point display you also get the labels that are associated with them let's say now that I want to make a change to one of these cosmetics you can go to the cosmetics drop down and then choose modify cosmetics and it prompts us to select a tie wrap marker or tape feature I can select this tie wrap over here and then click the OK button and this will bring up the electrical parameters dialog box where if you had another spool you could change that here we have the number of winds is using a value of three if I change this to a value of four it's going to end up even thicker than before so that is good and if you want to see it let me deselect everything and then regenerate and it'll actually end up making it bigger for showing these in a drawing you have to change the information in your repeat region so I'm going to swap over to the window that has 
a repeat region with a bill of materials in here. Create this in an earlier video. Let me turn off the point display while I'm in my drawing. And recommendation, you should always use layers to control the display of different entities on the drawing. So for example, having the display of datum should not be controlled by whatever the user has set in the in graphics toolbar from the datum display commands. But anyhow, let's say that I want to report the values for, or excuse me, I want to list those different cosmetic features inside of here. I'll go to the table tab and then repeat region. And in the menu manager, I'll click attributes. Now it prompts me to select a region and we're going to pick this region over here. And in the region attributes down at the bottom, it's currently set for no cable information. And I want that to have the cable information. And so then I'll click done return. You'll see right now before I click done return, we have 13 items listed inside of here. When I click done return, the list expands. And let me move the tables around since now this table is so long, it needs some additional space in here and grab my spool bomb and move it over here. And if you take a look at the other additional items that we have in here, we are getting our spools in here as well as our cosmetic features. Let's say that I did not want to get the spools in here. In that case, I am going to go back to my repeat region command and then let's use filters and I'll pick this repeat region. It's prompt for me to select. And I'm going to add a filter using a rule. And I'm going to type in the ampersand. And I want the assembly member type not equal to spool. And I'll hit enter once, hit enter a second time. And then when I click done return out of here and done You'll notice that the number of items decrease because now it is currently only listing the original components that are used as my various connectors and the harness. And here we have those different cosmetic features created. So in that way, you can create those different tape, tie wrap, and marker features and then have them included in your bill of materials. You'll notice even though we have multiple different tapes, they or markers or tie wraps are getting their own separate line. They're not summed up together. One other thing to note about having these different entities in your bill of materials is that you can't create balloons for them. So for example, if I choose create and balloons all, let's select this region over here. We get a bunch of different balloons in here, and the highest one is number 13. I don't have anything for 14 through 19 for those different entities. And even if you try to do it by record and then select one of these entities, it's not going to work because it only works by record for bulk items or included items that are in the bill of materials. It does not work for these different cosmetic features. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.